this video, we're going to go over the flag portion of the dance. But it also gives you some, some worship fun. flag movement ideas. This is part seven in the series. So anyway, let's get right to it. Hello, welcome to this channel. I'm Lynn Hayden with Dancing for Him Ministries, and this is Worship Dance Tips and Techniques, where my purpose and goal is to help you, the worship dancer, grow in your call to dance before the Lord. We go over lots and lots of different topics, uh, choreography ideas, dance composition, expressive sign, uh, prophetic dance, ministry and dance, pageantry, all kinds of things. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be aware of what is coming up now. Be sure to watch all the way through the end of the video where I'll pose the question of the day and also talk about a valuable giveaway opportunity. So there's a very small flag portion in the dance of undertow and uh, it, it occurs like three times in the dance. Um, one is in the introduction where um, the introduction during where the people on the sides, there's two rows on either side on a diagonal and they're doing the wave part. You know, they're doing, you know, this part, the indicating the waves, which will then indicate the undertow. And um, it says, you know, uh, there's no undertow that would keep me away from you. So it's really a prophetic kind of a dance where Jesus is talking. There's, there's nothing that would keep me away from you. He loves us so much that even an undertow would not keep him away. And so in the very beginning, the, the two rows are uh, on the diagonal here, and they're doing their wave moves while Jesus is standing in the back center. The person playing Jesus' part has feet together, arms out like a cross, right? And then they'll be on either side of the cross. Um, one person would be on that side of the cross, and the other person would be on that side of the cross, and they would be representing kind of the soldiers, and they would take, you know, a flag like this, but preferably a red. This is more of a fire. Um, and so they would take the red flag and they would be standing there at attention uh, like a soldier. Then when the music starts, there's two counts of eight. And they would take the flag and go around Jesus's arms. So the person on this side would do like a figure eight around the arm like that. So they would go up and over and they just keep going up and over like that. So if the arm was there, the flag would be going up and over like a figure eight around the arm, indicating the blood of Jesus. So it would just be like a figure eight on both sides of his arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight like that, and then they would just kind of run off. The, the soldier people would run off. Um, then, later on in the song, during the chorus, it says, I would walk through the fire, I'll walk through the pain, and so on. And so at that point, the soldiers would um, each have um, a flag, uh, they'd have two flags each. And so one soldier would come from one side, the other soldier would come from the other side. Now the dancers are doing um, the, I walk through the fire, walk through the pain, like that. So we went over that step um, in an earlier video. Uh, but instead of, you know, doing the curve like we mentioned in the other video, they would do pain like that. So, you know, hitting their side representing the pain. So anyway, as the dancers are coming from the sides and they're doing walk through the fire, walk through the pain, um, the soldiers would carry the flags and um, represent the fire. And they would, they could either do, you know, up and down, kind of looks like fire, like that, or they could take two flags and go through the crowd kind of up high. So they would, you know, hold it way up high above the crowd, and they would walk from one side to the other. So if I'll be off camera for a second, 
and I'll come on, I'd be going across like that, like the fire. The, and so the people are walking through the fire and the pain, and Jesus is also walking through the fire and the pain. Um, then, Hi, so real quickly, I just wanted to go over how to do that crisscross movement that the fire flags were doing going across the floor. So you just take the flags in your hand and the right palm goes down, the left palm goes down and crosses your wrist. Then your right palm goes up and down to your hip and your left palm goes up and down to your hip. Right down, palm faces down, left palm faces down, wrists are crossed, right palm faces up and down to your side, left up and down to your side. Then you just practice that and you get a little faster. And up, up, so right, left, right, left, down, down, up, up, criss, cross at your wrist, and then you get a little faster, a little bit faster, and you also, as you're getting faster, you do kind of a, a twist of your wrist, the wrist kind of twist, especially if you're having your wrists together. So it, it kind of looks like this and then sideways, you know, as we did, it's kind of like that. Now you can also do this kind of movement larger, you know, with your arms spread apart. I don't have that much room in here. Uh, or you can do it up high, bring your wrists close together. You can even do it over your head. But for the purpose of this dance, we're just gonna do it kind of at shoulder height and directly in front with the wrists fairly close together. And also, as you're flipping your wrists and you're bringing it down to the side, you want to try to bring it twisted so it's flat on your sides like this as it goes down. So it's here and here so that it has a more full effect that way. So the flags are crossing each other kind of in the middle of the, the space and the dancers are crossing each other and the person playing Jesus's part is just, you know, walking through. He'll just, you know, walk through the crowd and the fire and all the activity that's going on, you know, reaching toward the people. Walk through the fire, walk through the pain. I'm already there when you call my name. So at that point, the flags have disappeared. They've gone off on opposite sides where the, the people, um, they're, you know, in the process of crossing each other. Jesus is walking through, so now, um, Jesus's part is at the at the front and all the people are behind so when it says name they gather around him and or the person playing Jesus's part and this is name for sign language you take your two fingers like this I'll come closer so you can see um, you take two fingers like this and you put them one on top of the other you know kind of like that so um, you're already there. I'm already there when you call my name. So Jesus is in the front. So he's going to do like this with, um, you know, the fingers crossed one on top of each other and the arms in front. And the people are all going to, if they're on this side, they're going to lunge their left leg and be like this, you know, and they're kind of, uh, in a long diagonal line back or just crowded around. And then on this side, they're the same kind of thing. They're like this. So it, it kind of indicates name like that. So that would be their position for that. And then it goes into the, I'll go to the ends of the earth for you. So then everybody is doing that with the person who's playing Jesus's part. Then um, that last portion where it says, um, I'll go to the ends of the earth for you, go to the ends of the earth for you, the people are exiting and going to the people, you know, and, and doing, I'll go to the ends of the earth for you. And they'll look at the people as they're exiting, ministering the Father's heart to the heart of the people. And meanwhile, Jesus is the last one remaining on the platform. The fire flags have gone off in opposite directions uh, and they quickly grab white flags. I don't have white flags with me here, but they would come back 
for that very last uh, phrase that says forever I'm bound to you. And so as um, the people are walking off, the people doing the flags would grab white flags, or if you have extra people, the last two would have white flags ready to go. And they come running in uh, from either side. I'm gonna come over on this side, probably off camera for a second. Pretend Jesus is standing in the middle and they're gonna take the white flags and run around, around him with white flags and then run off in the opposite direction with the white flags, white representing the resurrection, right? So this is a good uh, song that can be done even for Resurrection Sunday or any time, but the, the white flags are the last thing that you see representing that resurrection, and Jesus says, forever I'm bound to you. And so as he's going, forever I'm bound to you, or he would spin, forever I'm bound to you to you. And as he's doing that spin, forever I'm bound to you, the white flags are spinning around him and running off to you. And then the final fade off music, Jesus walks off as well. So I hope that helped you with the flag portion of the dance and give you an idea of something you can do with quill flags. So I have a limited supply of these kind of flags for sale. You can see the information in the description box on how to email me to see what I have in stock. Well, I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. I mentioned I was gonna talk about a giveaway opportunity and I'm gonna give away two of the processional props and pageantry books in the ebook format. Uh, and the information about that is in the description box below. Question of the day. What would you like to know about flags in worship? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And I look forward to seeing you at a conference or retreat or in the online school. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. God bless.